Hi, I'm James Gilbert from Photospace Gallery. It's a pleasure to be hosting this exhibition, Expressions of Aotearoa, which is 33 framed photographs by 12 leading New Zealand landscape photographers and emerging photographers. As with most of the exhibitions here, which we've had over the last 22 years that we've been running, this is an exhibition of prints. And I think that's very important because the ultimate resolution of a photograph is a print. We look at a lot of prints on, we look at a lot of photographs on social media these days. And, you know, on your phone or on some other device, the photos are reduced, they kind of glow but they don't really represent the photographer's vision that they had when they were in the scene, in the landscape. And really the print is the ultimate resolution of that vision. Um, what I'd like to do is just introduce the work of these photographers to you and also decisions like the type of paper that they used to print on. I'm Mark Chi and I'm an astrophotographer uh, based in Wellington, New Zealand. And I shot this image at Pukarua Bay, uh, which is just north of Wellington here. Um, and it's a location that I've been going there for a number of years now, trying to get a good composition. And finally, I think this, this image is quite successful and um, I ended up getting that composition there. We ended up printing this on um, Epson Luster paper. And as far as Astro is concerned, it's a, it's a really good paper. You get some really deep blacks. Um, there's details in the mids as well. And there's some really good color, color contrast as well, which really pops your image. Um, so for Astro, it's perfect. Hi, so my name's Spencer Club, and I'm standing in front of my image, um, Sunset over the Rohinis. So as you might have expected, this image is shot on the Rohini range, and it's looking towards Mount Rupehu that you can see in the background. It's a lovely evening, we've got the sun just going down and the rays of light kind of cutting across into the frame from the side. So you're seeing some lovely shadows kind of coming through. Um, I chose to print this paper on Epsom Hot Press Natural for two reasons. Firstly, it brings out the kind of lovely renditions between the tones, which is really the important part of the image to kind of hold it together. And secondly, because of the warm tones that the paper can reproduce and without those, the photograph is not going to really be as good as the, the image that was in front of me. Hello there, my name is Sean Barnett and I'm a Wellington based nature and landscape photographer and also a guide with New Zealand photography workshops. The picture here taken in the Southern Alps from the western side of the Southern Alps on our West Coast Wilderness Tour shows some of our highest mountains including Mount Tasman there on the right and unlike a lot of landscape shots where we use a wide angle this is taken with a telephoto lens of about 300 millimetres. I've seen this light just sneak through all the mist and cloud that was swirling around the mountains and decided to zoom in and focus on that. It's taken on a tripod so it's nice and sharp. And we chose to print this on the Epsom Premium Luster paper, which has a big range of colour that it can record and it really does justice to the vivid nature of the sunset. And I think Richard's done a beautiful job of printing it um, and you're really pleased with it. Hi, Richard Young here. I captured this image of the silver birch trees up in the Canterbury High Country. I think forest photography offers one of the ultimate compositional challenges for the landscape photographer, trying to capture form and structure in the complexity of the forest environment. This image has an amazing simplicity about it, but still a lot of detail. All these lovely soft transitions, tones and textures within the final image. I chose to print this on Epsom Velvet Fine Art Paper. One, because of the lovely soft, subtle texture of the paper, which I think really adds something to this print, but also because of the wide gamut of the paper, enable me to faithfully reproduce all of these colours within the image. The orange through the centre part of the image is actually some um, willow trees and the top part through here is some distant mountains. I'm really happy with this print and uh, excited to have it here in the exhibition. This is one of my favourite pictures, um, it's called Narahoe Zen and we deliberately picked uh, Epsom Cold Press Bright to print this image on because it's a, a lovely textured paper and in some ways it's just enhanced the details 
um, on all the little texture beneath the snow and the rocks. Um, interestingly enough, it was a picture that nearly didn't happen. I was in a hotel room um, in the National Park and finally I got a view of Narahoe without this tree. Um, reception asked me to move and put me in this room that put the tree straight in front of Narahoe, but there was no cloud there, so the whole thing became a little bit of a mess and the tree was distracting against the background. As I'm sat there watching this, being frustrated with having uh, had a clear view, this cloud came rolling in and just caused this separation and I managed to get the camera lens right up against the glass, take the picture, and it's got this lovely Japanese sort of Mount Fuji feel about it with this one sort of Zen tree. And it's just become quite a special picture for me. And uh, as I say, the cold press bright really does bring out the texture on the mountain and the details on the tree. So it's very pleased with the result.